Princess Lila and the magical Shoplandia. Every little girl dreams of becoming a princess. They close their eyes and imagine what it would be like to do whatever they want. Wear beautiful dresses and a tiara. Eat delicious desserts, attend parties, and best of all, go shopping. For one little girl, that dream became a reality. Princess Lila, it's time to get up. I'm up. I'm awake. This is Princess Lila. She is one of the most beautiful princesses in all the land. But she has a bit of a shopping problem. Have you seen my shoes? Which ones, my princess? The black ones with the little white buckles. With the flowers? No, with the beads. There's no way we can find the shoes. When your room looks like this, you've got too much stuff. <coughs> there you are, Pippin. I thought I lost you. I bet Pippin thought he was lost forever, too. Too many boxes. Too many shoes. Silly Pippin. You can never have too many shoes. Ah, uh, there we are. Yes, Princess Lila had a big shopping problem, but she also had the money to buy everything, so it was okay for now. Message for Princess Lila. I love messages. What does it say? Princess Lila, your presence is requested at the grand opening of Shoplandia, a magical new shopping kingdom where your wildest dreams are sure to come true. Oh, great. There's just another thing we need, a land dedicated to shopping. It's incredible. I can't wait. Soon the day for the grand opening came. The morning glittered with magic, and Princess Lila put on her prettiest purple dress. I look like a dream, Pippin, and I'm about to live one, too. Shoplandia won't know what hit him. Don't come home with too many things, princess. <laughs> Shoplandia was even more magnificent than Princess Lila imagined. The streets were lined with clouds and gold. Everything sparkled. Stores floated in the air, and the stores were filled with beautiful people buying beautiful things. There were dressing rooms that showed you how you looked in an outfit without even trying it on. They had fizzy drinks and ice cream sundaes, and time stood still. Not another dress, princess. I need one for every occasion. It didn't take long for Princess Lila to get a bit carried away. In fact, she had purchased more than she could ever need. There was one thing that Princess Lila didn't know. Shoplandia did not accept money. No, she couldn't pay with cash or a card. Shoplandia dealt only in memories, the most priceless thing of all. I really don't have to pay for any of this? You could say that. Before long, Princess Lila began to feel the effects of her shopping trip and the cost of her memories, but she didn't quite realize what was happening. That blue dress you bought is a lot like the one you wore to your great aunt's wedding. My great aunt? Of course, great aunt Shirley. I think I would remember if I had a great aunt named Shirley, Pippin. But you do. No, 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 silly bird, I do not. Despite the slowly fading memories, Princess Lila continued to shop. Shoplandia is magical. I love not paying for anything. 
How amazing! It must be a special gift for me because I'm such a wonderful princess. I think there's something fishy going on here. Oh, Pippin, you worry too much. That sounds like something your mother, the queen, would say. My mother? What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, I don't have a mother, Pippin. I'm the only ruler of the kingdom. That's crazy. Your mother is the queen and your father is the king. I am the princess. There is no one before me. What about your best friend, Angel? You're my best friend, Pippin. Angel has been your best friend since you were four. A pretty name, but I don't know her. Can you sing a line of the lullaby your mother used to sing you? Perhaps if I had a mother to sing to me. Princess, I'm starting to grow a bit concerned. Maybe we should go see the castle doctor. Are you feeling okay? Oh, hello there, pretty bird. You can talk. How fascinating. What's your name? My name is Princess Lila. No. Pippin was very afraid. It was clear that Princess Lila was slowly forgetting everything about her life. He didn't know where he was flying, but he hoped that whenever he arrived, he could find an answer. I have to get out of Shoplandia. After what felt like ages, Pippin emerged from the clouds and arrived in a forest. Please, please help me. My friend, Princess Lila, is in Shoplandia, and all of her memories are fading. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I just flew until I found something. Someone, anyone that isn't in Shoplandia. Slow down, sweet bird. Come in. The old woman brought Pippin into her home. It was a modest home. The old woman didn't need much and her home reflected that fact. It's quite small in here. I don't need much. You should see Princess Lila's castle. It's filled with things. I imagine. Especially if she was welcomed into Shoplandia with open arms, they would know she likes to shop. How would they know? Who are they? The memory keepers. They live off of memories. It's what keeps them alive. You see, someone enters into Shoplandia and begins to purchase items. I'm sure you noticed everything is free. Yes. Nothing in life is free, my new friend. Princess Lila has been paying for her items with her memories. Her memories? Is that why she doesn't remember me? Soon, she won't even remember herself. What do we do? Bring her to me. I will talk to her. My name is Grandma Maven. I'm Shoplandia's wisest elder. So Pippin left the home of Grandma Maven and returned to Shoplandia to find Princess Lila and attempt to save her before it was too late. Princess Lila? Oh, hello. Isn't this beautiful? I'd like to wear it to a ball one day. If only I would ever be invited to one. Perhaps you could take me to a ball. What's your name, sir? Oh, princess. Is there really a princess here? Where? Are all of these things hers? She has incredible things. You are the princess, miss. No, no, I couldn't be. I'm just a normal girl. How would you like me to take you to meet the princess? You would do that for me? Someone you've just met on the street? I'd do anything for you. Is 
Is this where the princess lives? Not quite. Has she even forgotten herself now? I'm afraid so. This is much worse than I thought. What did she buy? Everything. Princess Lila, where is she? Listen very closely to me. You are Princess Lila. Don't be silly. You are in Shoplandia, a beautiful and wonderful, absolutely exquisite shopping experience unlike any other. But here in Shoplandia, you don't pay for anything you purchase with money. My dear, you pay for things with your memories. Shoplandia takes and takes until there's nothing left. You can't remember a thing, can you? I don't know what you're talking about. The only way to reverse the spell and remember is to learn to value your memories and your life over things. It must be genuine or it won't work. That's a very sad problem you're telling me about, but I don't see what it has to do with me. Princess, um, um, ma'am, will you help me help the princess? I would love to help the princess. Do you think she'd reward me with an invitation to the ball? Oh, yes. Here's what we'll do. Thank you, Grandma Maven. You truly are wise. I hope your plan works. It's all we've got. Pippin and Princess Lila got to work giving away all of her new possessions for free. Everything is free. Truly free. No strings attached. Come and get it. You'd look beautiful in this gown, miss. Take it. It's yours. I think your daughter would love these shoes, sir. <laughs> oh, Pippin, giving things away is fun. Princess Lila? Yes? It's working. Is it really you, Princess? Do you remember? Pippin, I remember everything. Mostly, I remember how dark and cold it was without my memories and without my best friend, you. You're my best friend, too. I can't believe you did all of this for me. When I lost my memories, you found out how to get them back, and then you helped me find myself again. You're the greatest gift our girl could ever have. It's all in a day's work, my princess. I promise you, Pippin, no more shopping sprees. My memories are my true treasures. That's my girl. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Welcome to my new Hall of Memories. Instead of buying new things, I'm celebrating everything that I already have and all the memories and the people that have made me who I am today. It's beautiful. I couldn't have done this without you, Pippin. I owe you my life. So, are we going to celebrate? I'm throwing a ball this evening in my memory hall. It's going to be the first of many memory makers for the people of our town. I love it. Princess Lila's memory making ball was a hit. The townspeople loved every minute of it and it quickly became an evening they would never forget. Princess Lila, especially.